wonder. I wonder. What do you wonder, Wonder Cat? I wonder, why don't I fall up? Why don't you fall up? Well, if you're curious enough, you can find out. Just to get started, let's agree on which way is up. That's easy. That way is up. That bird is flying up. And that plane, it's going up too. So up is... That way. You know, away from the ground. Or you could say, away from the earth, right? Right. And down. Which way is that? Down. That's toward the ground. Toward the earth, right? Right. So when you say that something falls, or moves up or down, you're really describing the direction it's moving. That's right. Toward or away from the earth. But I still don't know why I fall down instead of up. Well, look around. Look at the things that move and see if you find some clues as to why those things move in one direction instead of in the opposite direction. Well, I'm looking at things that are moving, but I haven't found any clues yet. Hey, look at that ball. It isn't moving at all. Well, keep on looking and maybe you'll find out why. Oh, I see why the ball isn't moving. It's in the middle of a rope that both sides are pulling on in a tug of war. It looks like one side is pulling just as hard as the other side is. What do you think would have to happen for the ball to move? One side would have to start pulling harder. And I think that's what's going to happen now. But when the ball moves, which way will it move? Toward the side that's pulling harder. Yes, things start to move when they are pulled or pushed in one direction harder than in another. So I guess I understand the reason I fall down and don't fall up. There must be something pulling me down toward the ground. And it must be something that pulls me down harder than anything that pulls or pushes me up. Very good. But I wonder... What do you wonder, Wonder Cat? I wonder, what is it that's pulling me down? I know what was pulling on the ball in the tug of war. When one team pulled harder than the other team did, the ball moved. It moved in the direction of the harder pull. But what pulls things that makes them fall down? Well, remember, things fall toward the Earth. Does that mean that the Earth pulls things down? That's right. And we give a name to the pull of the Earth. We call it gravity. Gravity. I'll try to remember that word. But I wonder, I could see the hands of the people pulling on the rope and moving the ball but I don't think I've ever seen the Earth pulling on anything. That's because the Earth can pull on things without touching them. You can't see gravity, but you can see things move because gravity pulls them toward the Earth. Gravity is pulling you too, right now. But I'm not falling. Why? Remember why the ball didn't move at first in the tug of war? Well, both sides were pulling on the rope but one pull wasn't stronger than the other. Say, since I know that gravity is pulling me down, but I'm not moving, something else must be pulling me up just as hard, right? Yes, but not pulling, pushing up on you. In order for the branch to hold you up, it has to push you up, just as hard as gravity is pulling you down. If it didn't... I'd fall down. I see what you mean. The small branches on a tree aren't very strong. That bird should be careful. Well, gravity doesn't pull down as hard on that bird as it pulls down on you. It doesn't? How hard does it pull down on us? Well, you can find out. With that scale, 
Can you make the pointer move? Sure. I just have to pull down on it like this. See? And the harder I pull, the farther the pointer moves. Stop pulling. Now, get on the scale. What's happening? Well, now my whole body is pulling the scale down. Or is it gravity that's pulling me down? That's what it is. Good thinking. And see where the pointer is? At six pounds. Hey, that's what I weigh. Well, sure, this is a scale. But does that mean my weight tells me how hard gravity is pulling me down towards the Earth? Yes, that's right. We say that gravity is pulling you down with a force of six pounds. Now, let's weigh the bird. Okay. Wow, that little bird doesn't even weigh one pound. That means that gravity is pulling down on the bird a lot less than it is on me. I mean, with a lot less force, just like you said. Is that why a bird can go up and I can't? Because gravity pulls down on me more than it pulls down on the bird? Well, no. You see, all that matters is whether the push up on a bird is stronger than the pull down. When a bird's wings give it a strong enough push up, it can fly. The force of the wings pushing a bird up is greater than the force of gravity pulling it down. An airplane can go up for the same reason. Its wings and engine give it a push up that is greater than the force of gravity pulling it down. The push up always has to be more than the pull down for something to go up into the air. So that's how I make a ball go up. Every time I throw it up, I'm giving it a push up that's stronger than the pull down gravity is giving it. The ball just goes up away, and then it comes back down again. The harder I throw it, the higher up it goes. But it always slows down as it goes up. Then it stops and starts coming down again. Earth's gravity has pulled the ball back to Earth. But I wonder... Why don't things we send into space fall back to Earth? That's because the burning rocket fuel keeps pushing the rocket upwards. It keeps going up and up until it's in space and keeps on traveling away from the Earth. Does the Earth's gravity still pull on things when they're in space? Yes, but as a space vehicle keeps going farther and farther away from Earth, Earth's gravity pulls less and less on it. If a space vehicle gets close enough to something big in space, like the moon, then the moon's gravity will pull on it. When the moon's gravity pulls harder on it than the Earth's gravity does, then down becomes... The direction toward the moon. Is that right? That's right. And if you landed on the moon, you'd find that its gravity doesn't pull on you as hard as Earth's gravity does. So I'd weigh less there. That's right. And does that mean I could jump higher? That's right. And I wouldn't come down so fast? Or so hard? <laughs> That's right. That would be nice, since now I understand why I can never fall up, even on the moon.